Welcome to the five keys to passion, where you will learn to transform negative behavior in your love life and create enriching relationships. So this is what happens when the strongest contact to Mars, uh, which represents passion and drive, is from Pluto. And, and just imagine that you're with somebody who has this aspect. Uh, so what, what can you expect? First of all, they'll be very uh, magnetic, hypnotic, controlling. Uh, it, when they're kind of, if they get heavy, they sort of um, render you sort of powerless with, with ultimatums. Um, they can be extremely jealous um, and they obsess about, you know, what they do and what other people do. Um, also, they're kind of um, really demanding in their sex life. It can either be like 200% or 0%. Um, and, and there's a kind of lack of sensitivity um, about what's going on in the situation. So they kind of, they kind of overcompensate with their power. And the reason for this is is because when they were a kid, you know, in their upbringing, there was some situation that that was kind of humiliating for them, or you know, they they lost control. Maybe they had an extreme parent or a really dominating brother or some some kind of male figure in their life. So it it made them powerless or or they could have also had something which was like a near-death experience uh, or some kind of loss in their childhood so they, they, there's a slight trauma connected with mars pluto and that's why they overcompensate by being more controlling so um but still you've got the attraction so what are you going to do about it um the negative thing is that you you may feel control and, and you may feel shadowed, you know, you, you know, your mobile phone may be checked. And, uh, um, it's almost as if, you know, your own willpower uh, is, is taken away from you by this person. Uh, the sexual demands can be great and they can be exhausting, you know. Uh, so you need to kind of define, you know, for example, when do you want sex? You need to always give pushback. Uh, you, you you need to refuse to be controlled. That actually, this is something they prefer. They 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 respect a bit of resistance. Um, and if a power battle becomes like irrational, you know, like it just becomes like an obsessive thing, uh, just just you know withdraw or, or say that you know that's against the rules of the relationships. So Mars Pluto in a partner's horoscope, it, it brings a, a passionate and obsessive relationship which goes through a series of transformations as the partner becomes more psychologically aware. Now, what if you've got it? What if you've got the Mars-Pluto aspect? Um, well, you feel there's in a need to, to own and control what's going on. And, and uh, there's this kind of anxiety that you'll feel if the partner shows too much independence. Uh, you're going to be jealous. You might not even know it, or you might not admit to it. Um, uh, and, and your anxiety can, can block the sort of sensitivity you should be cultivating in the relationship. You, the last thing you want to do is appear weak, uh, so you overcompensate to, to, and appear strong, and it's too much. Um, and, and even sexual desires, like uh, there's a kind of tendency to, dim, to, 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 to demand a lot of sex just to prove that, that you, you've got it in you. So this has all arisen because of you were subjected to some kind of domination as a child uh, or a situation where you were helpless in one way or another. Uh, you may have felt a lot of anger, but you had to control it. Um, or you pa perhaps had to deal with a, a psychologically unstable person in your childhood. And what you need to do, you need to understand uh, where this, the, the, the need for control, where it comes from. Uh, you have to understand that if you're jealous and controlling, it drives away love, which is the last thing you want. Um, and and you don't invade the space of other people. Give space. If you find yourself kind of leaning in and, and kind of dominating, you know, withdraw again. And don't exhaust yourself sexually. Just wait until you feel like it. You don't have to prove anything. And in terms of work, there may be a sort of tendency to work night and day. You know, respect your physical limits. It's all about cultivating a kind of sensitivity to other people and when you're conscious of this kind of behavior you learn how to transform the negative and experience uh, a tremendous psychological 
the transformation.